Hey guys, Tux here. I have a requested video here. This is another Zealots Gaming Mouse, and this is different than the other ones you've probably seen on this channel, but you know I am a fan of Zealots. They make great, high-quality, cheap mice, okay? And this is something which a lot of gamers would use these mice because they'd rather invest the money instead of spending, you know, $200 or $150 on a mouse. They'd rather stick that money into the video card or something where it can really make a more impactful, uh, noticeable difference on your gaming experience. And these mice, they're great, honestly. This is not one which um, I was really originally on my radar because it's a little bit smaller and it's not as like button rich, if you will, is my understanding of it. But we're going to open this together. But it was a requested video, and I really wanted to check it out. And this is a newer offering, which is on Amazon right now. I want to say it cost me about $5. You can check Amazon for the exact price. Now, one thing I do notice about this Zell's product is there really is no identifiable like number or unit on the actual box. It just says Zealot's Gaming Mouse, okay? Um, on the bottom here, there is this B-O-O-Q-1-6-S-J-6-W and it's called the Zealots Black C-1 Gaming Mouse Wired. So we will see if this is um, awesome and I will definitely let you know in the future if you have comments like how's it going. I do follow-ups on these and I'll let you know how what I think of the mouse you know, in retrospect after using it for a week or two because sometimes first impressions can be deceiving if it just looks sharp but it's not functional, you know. So anyway, the box itself is usual. Zealots have a nice quality box. It is kind of a generic Zealots box so there's no picture of the mouse. Nothing really too special about it. It talks about generic things in the back like high precision, long switch life, you know. These are things that could apply to like any other mice but not necessarily this one alone so let's go ahead and open the box here and see what we have on the inside again this is bought new from Amazon oh this is different okay there's already some different things I'm noticing about this mouse okay um, first off there's a lot of stuff in the box usually zealots boxes are really kind of empty just the mouse and sometimes you get some instruction um, let's see first thing I notice here is zealots c17 programmable gaming mouse okay very interesting they don't always give information about programming the mice in fact most of them don't come with drivers at all so that is very interesting um, you can take a look through here you can pause it if you like and read some of these little descriptions of different colors and what the buttons do I'm sure this is probably also available online but it gives you a little idea again feel free to pause this and recheck this out at your leisure if you want if you have a particular question, I could try and answer, but most of them are probably right here for you. Um, it's interesting, this has software. I'm actually going to use this mouse. I wasn't sure if I was going to put this on my main rig. Um, in my house here, we have two gaming rigs we use um, for editing videos and for gaming. And um, both of them right now are using, well, actually, one is with Red Dragons right now, Red Dragon Mouse, and one has Zealots. Um, I do often have Zealots on both gaming rigs, so because um, we're really such fans. Now, this one here has a driver disc. You know, I don't see this often. This is the first time I've ever actually noticed a driver disc. It is one of those small micro discs, but it's interesting. There's actually a software with it. Um, definitely a first for me, so that's pretty cool, actually. It's been a request for a lot of people. I know a lot of the other Zealots mice are programmable, but you have to use the interface from the game like World of Warcraft or whatever you're playing, you know, to actually program it. Um, now, there's an extra little piece here, which looks like it's probably a little slider or something. Let me come back to this in one second. Um, and then we'll take the plastic, the bubble wrap off. Put that to the side. And let's see here. Okay, first off, this is a little bigger than I expected, actually. Um, I was thinking this was going to be a smaller mouse from the picture. But this is actually looking um, like a regular size Zealot's mouse. As far as the aesthetics of the whole thing, first off, I do have to talk about the cord. As you guys know, I'm a very big fan of, you know, good quality cording. Um, it's really a sign of a good quality mouse, and even if it's a cheaper mouse, it's a good sign that they had some TLC, some loving put into the mice that they gave, you know, they gave a, a rat's ass about the mouse, sorry for the language. Um, they really wanted a quality product, and you could tell that this has a really nice quality mouse cord. Um, the end is very sturdy, doesn't feel like it's going to break apart or anything like that. Feels very good quality. Looks like we had some Chinese writing on there, which is fine. And of course, the Zealots logo. And um, the braided cord is just really nice. So I've never had any problems with these Zealots braiding cords like falling apart or any kind of like, um, you know, fringing apart or anything. They're, they're very good quality and they look very sharp on a desk. Now this mouse, I uh, will say, first off, I do have to mention, it feels quite heavy actually. Um, this is definitely larger than I expected. 
and um, it's a pretty heavy mouse. Now, unlike the newer, like, 2015 Zealots mouse that does have weights in the bottom, this one does not seem to have any kind of, like, turnable, adjustable weight to it. It looks like it is just the weight that it is. It does have little peel-off stickies here, so you can actually remove them, as you can see. And then you can go ahead and um, have the actual surface. Let me pull these off here and see what this feels like. Don't want to rip off the little thing. There we go. Um, these feel very um, just plasticky. They don't really feel like rubbery. They're very slick, so they'll glide across the surface very nicely. I've used these mice on you know gaming pads. Um, I've used them on marble. My desktop is marble. Um, I've used them on wood like shellac type wood and I've had good results with all those surfaces. Um, I tend to use a mouse pad though to be honest with you. It's the best way of you know going. Now the mouse itself just to talk about a little bit here. This is like hard plastic here. Oh that was weird. Did you hear that? It kind of felt like this is clicked in place. Like maybe it wasn't all the way pushed in or something. It looked fine. Um, okay it feels very sturdy. I don't think it's a problem. But um, this is like hard plastic. This is like translucent plastic, so if there's LED lighting in here, this will glow a little bit, which is pretty cool. I'm definitely into lighting. My rigs, I have a Cooler Master 830 um, SE, like a stacker, um, like, case that has lots of lighting. And my other gaming rig is also Cooler Master as well. And this side here is very hard plastic as well. Now on the top here we have, this is kind of a silky smooth feel. This is not the same plastic as this. This is like a regular PVC plastic. Can you hear that? This top part, it does not make that noise. This is like a rubbery surface. Um, it's kind of like a non-slip grip kind of surface. So that way when you're gaming, it won't fall out of your mount, out of your hand, which is good. Uh, the buttons here are very shiny, like kind of a gloss button. These are the ones that are kind of a matte black. They do have a little bit of a mechanical sound to them. Can you hear that? Okay. Um, and the two top parts, you can click them quite easily from even as far back as this. But they have a pleasing little touch and click to them. Um, and one thing I like about the Zealous Mice is they really do a good job like form-fitting your hand. You can see the thumb goes here very nicely. This mouse does not feature on the side here, so on some of the other mouses they have one or two grooves for actually you know several fingers to fit in. This one has this one, one groove, but it really feels very comfortable in your hand. I can see like doing this for a long time and being able to like raid and things and actually not having any kind of hand fatigue from the mouse being too small. I like the way it really cups your hand well too. It doesn't feel like there's a lot of loose space or it's not pushing back on your hand. It's not too big or too small. It really feels just right. So anyway, this looks really great. But you know what the real test is? We got to plug this bad boy in and see what it looks like in the dark. Okay, so let's see if the lighting effect is um, very cool and we will check that out. We'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. I'm going to go ahead and dim the lights here a little bit so you can actually see. It looks like it did flash some colors when I first plugged it in. Um, it did not seem to react on the computer. Like maybe it's installing some drivers. Oh, they're starting to light up a little bit. Uh, let me dim the lights here off these bright camera lights so you can actually kind of get a good feel of what this really looks like. Now this is with normal room lighting on. So you can see this isn't really in the dark yet. Um, but even with room lighting on, it has a very bright glow. You can see it's kind of a breathing kind of trends you know going through the different colors um, now this the wheel itself is clear so you can actually see some light through the wheel there which is cool Ooh, that blue is real Tron like that's pretty cool and if it's like the other results mice I know that the color has a lot to do with the actual speed of it too, the DPI Oh, I do like the way it has fire written there on the button that's kind of interesting and then this set over here it has um, looks like PAL or P PL1 I'm not sure about that one um, and I just have two side buttons here. You can kind of see in the mouse a little bit here too, which is kind of interesting. But um, yeah, I'm digging this mouse actually. It looks very nice. The wheel you can kind of see into there a little bit. Very cool. I'm going to dim the lights even a little bit more to check this out in true darkness to see what gaming in the dark is like. Because I'm sure you guys feel like me. Oftentimes you probably game in the dark. So anyway, let's see what this looks like with the lights turned off. Okay, I still have a little bit of room light on. The, the white light you see here around this is actually monitor glow. I'm not going to go to the extent of turning that off, um, but this should give you a pretty good idea what this mouse looks like. And you can see the actual glowing is very bright. It looks very nice. So I'm definitely digging this. Looks very cool in the dark at the bottom. You can look for that. Sides. See how that lights up real nice. Very, very cool. 
Um, I wasn't thinking this moss was going to be the one, but this is really nice. And this moss, again, it was not real expensive. I want to say on Amazon it was about like five bucks. It was, it was not pricey at all. So let me know what you think about this mouse. Um, let me know in the comments below if you have any feelings about it. I'm going to go ahead and test it out for a bit, and then I will go ahead and report back to you guys in the comments what I think about this mouse, or maybe even make a follow-up video down the road. But so far, I'd say for the money, you really can't go wrong. It's like five bucks. It's like nothing. You know, it's like a meal at, like, uh, I don't know, Chick-fil-A or something, or Burger King or McDonald's or wherever you eat at Subway. So, like, um, for five bucks, it's a heck of a bargain, and that will allow you to apply that money to more important parts, like video cards or RAM or something. Hey, guys, I wanted to cover the DPI settings a little bit more. A um, little more information here. Let me get the lights back on a little. Um, you can see here from the DPI things that purple is actually the highest DPI. And just look from this little thing, if I'm reading this right, it goes up to over 2,000 DPI, which is really good. Um, next is green, which is a little bit lower, and then blue, and then red. Okay, and it looks like all of the adjusting you can do this through the actual software which is this little disc right here. So you can actually use the on-screen software as opposed to just using like a button. You can see it does look like it does have buttons setting though where you can actually hold the button and change the DPR cycle through the, see the colors are changing as I press the button. So you kind of cycle through them too. But anyway, it's all right in the instructions for you. If you have questions about programming it, after reading your instructions, let me know. But it's really great that this particular Zelts product actually comes with instructions, and it comes with a driver disc. So they've been listening to the fans, and they're still keeping a good low price, but they're giving some great product and some nice little upgrades that they weren't giving before. So anyway, guys, thank you very much again for watching us, and we'll talk to you soon, okay?